The investigation continues this afternoon into what started a deadly fire at a Lexington apartment building overnight. It happened on Clay Avenue near Euclid Avenue in Lexington's Chevy Chase area. It was just after 3.30 this morning. LAX 18's Evelyn Schultz has been at the scene since this morning. She joins us now live with the very latest. It's the big story today at noon. Evelyn? Chris Dia, firefighters say this happened inside an apartment building with three units inside. Initially this morning, they told us they didn't believe anyone was inside the building at the time of the fire. However, they later discovered human remains that had fallen through the burning first floor into a crawl space. They told us the fire broke out around 3.30 this morning with flames that spread all along one side of the home. At one point, we could sh see those flames shooting out of the roof. A Battalion chief told us fighting this fire was a challenge because of the way these types of apartment buildings are laid out. They had to break through walls and they had to use chainsaws to cut holes in the roof for ventilation. While they got the fire under control not long after arriving on scene, the investigation now begins into what caused this fire, which could take days. Meanwhile, Fayette County Coroner Gary Ginn says they haven't identified the victim and they'll know more about how the person died after an autopsy. He called this a high level investigation and says they have a lot of questions to answer, which is why he called in the police department's robbery homicide unit. In no way am I saying that this is a homicide, but we want to try to preserve as much evidence in this death investigation that we possibly can. Are you looking at the possibility that the person had died before the fire started? That's always a possibility and depending on the origin of the fire and the way the fire began, it could be that uh, the individual was succumbed by smoke inhalation uh, so that, you know, they, they obviously would not uh, have been able to respond when the fire broke out. Um, you know, that, that's definitely a possibility. Uh, it could be that the individual died and the fire started. The crime scene tape around the house and around the street has now been removed and Clay Avenue is back open to traffic at this hour. Live in Lexington, I'm Evelyn Schultz, LEX 18 News.